Hey guys, I'm Mitch. And I'm Austin. And this is Super Platinum Achievement, and we've got a review for you on the latest video game movie out there, Mortal Kombat! Right after this. Get over here! Alright guys, if you are new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. It does help us out a ton. We really appreciate it. And to show our appreciation, we want to give you some free stuff. So check out our giveaway playlist and see how you can enter to win something for free. And also, just check out our new hats. They're Look pretty cool. These. They're pretty cool. So, hats are cool. Yeah. I just wanted to show them off. We're official. Uh, today is actually a first for our channel. A movie review. Yeah. For video game movies, hopefully we want to branch it in the future. Just a lot of work for us, but we thought, why not start with the first video game movie of the year? Yeah. Right? Okay, no, no, there was yeah. there's a Monster Hunter. No. Oh. We don't count that one. That is a movie. <laughs> it exists. <laughs> the first good video game movie of the year. How about that? Yeah. And that is Mortal Kombat. And this was released in theaters alongside um, HBO, HBO Max. Yes. So if you have HBO Max, it's included on there. You can just watch it. There's no premium fee or anything mm -hmm. like that. But if you also have a theater that's open, go to the theater. Support you know, your theater. Enjoy uh, it. We want them to survive. Yes. And uh, we went and saw it in the theater because there's nothing like seeing it on a giant screen in Dolby Atmos. Dolby Atmos in a recliner, of all things. So oh, it very was nice. So yeah, we'll just start with, I think, early, like our impressions right away. I think we both love the movie. Yes. Um, and I think just right out of the get-go before everyone clicks off the video, go watch it, go support it, because uh, they want to make four more of them Yeah. if this one's successful. So let's make it successful, and then we can see uh, what the future holds for them, but also just support this movie. Yeah, because go see it. I thoroughly enjoyed it. it was, it's a, it's a, for a video game movie, it's pretty good. Yes. So go, please. Is it a masterpiece of a movie? No. no. But is it enjoyable as heck? Yeah. Um, it really stays true to uh, the essence oh, of does Mortal it? Kombat in every sense. Mm -hmm. It focuses on the characters and the fighting. And yeah. That's the big thing. I mean, there's a story there, just like in the game. There's a little bit of a story setting up the tournament. But that's really all it is. It's like, fight. Yeah. So, kind of the, yeah, the premise for this is we're following a new character to the Mortal Kombat series, Cole Young, who mm -hmm. is the, obviously the main protagonist of the movie. Uh, he's a, is a brand new character, and he ends up getting thrown into this world, the Mortal Kombat world, because uh, he was, uh, has the birthmark, uh, the Mark of the Dragon is how they did it in the, in the movie, and he actually is a direct descendant. Of, of someone, someone. We'll We're not going to spoil spoiler, it. We'll keep it spoiler free. So that's uh, that's how he kind of gets pulled into it, and you know ends up meeting the characters like Sonya Blade mm -hmm. and Jax, and the you know the people that have Raiden. been in the franchise. Yeah. Raiden, yeah, Kano. Uh, they've been in the franchise for a long time, and there's great interactions with all the characters. To be honest, um, so they actually did do a pretty good amount of characters in this um, yeah. game. Our game movie, but the the biggest downside of the movie was the acting mm -hmm. uh, because, like we were talking about off camera here, um, they really focused on people who were able to fight. Yes, and really make the fight scenes uh, hold true to hey. Mortal Kombat. Hey, get over here! You got problem? And, it's not like uh, that. Yeah, and the main character is probably the biggest letdown because you expect side characters to be, you know, eh, but the main character is, in my opinion, probably the worst actor. Yeah, of he them wasn't all. great. Um, uh, Jax was a good. He's a good actor. He's, a good actor. He's, he's, been, he's been in stuff that was good. The guy that played Kano was actually like Kano. Luke, he he kind of carried really the movie at, at, at early on too. Yes. So for sure. Um, yeah. And then we got to meet uh, Liu Kang and uh, Kung Lao. They were both great They're actors. Fantastic and great fighters. So mm -hmm. that was like a really. It was fun to see um, them onto uh, the big screen, and they kept doing like the the video game stuff. Like Kung Lao would keep throwing his like uh, his red belt back and stuff, which is like what he does in the games. And then, yeah, uh, I said that wrong. Liu Kang keeps doing the belt. It kind of yeah. does the, his hat thing. Yeah. And it's, it, was, it was pretty good. And, of course, you know, like we said, it was about the fighting. And, boy, the fighting was fun. Yeah. It's just really enjoyable. Um, and, you know, like I said, it doesn't go super deep into any, you know, awesome, amazing story with twists and everything. Yeah, like, like we actually don't even get to the actual Mortal Kombat or battle, like, fight. It was, like, leading up to it, they're trying to... Uh, 
the basic plot is they're trying to stop the fight, and then the good people are, are trying to prevent them from breaking the rules and yeah. taking over Earth, essentially. Yeah. So, yeah. And the bad guys are uh, driven by Sub-Zero is the probably the main bad guy yeah. in this. Um, and the then big bad. The big um, bad. That is in our face most yes. of the time. Anyway. And then, yeah, so the main big bad is uh, Sean Sung, which mm -hmm. I, I, if you're a fan, fan of the games, I'm sure you know who that is. So, um but you don't get he's not really in it too much actually so he really isn't he's he's definitely the man behind the curtain for mm -hmm. the most part except you can see him behind the curtain mm. um it's sub zero that's yeah. you know the one yeah. driving the but whole yeah thing. we get good fights with sub zero um i mean the movie opens with the original pr people of sub zero and uh, scorpion so it was hanzo and B bihan or something like that mm, yeah. i think is his name fighting in like feudal japan it was actually like it was super fun and sets up the whole yeah what a great it. way to open it yeah it I was, mean, that the action scene to begin with is fantastic it was great it was a good way to open the open it and then yeah sub-zero throughout the movie is the bad guy um, yeah shocker right um but yeah we got some great one-on-one -on -one fights um with goro and the main character actually end up fighting pretty uh that was a good fight um you know uh Kung Lao fights. I think her name was uh, Natara. So yeah, like we got you know fights with like main characters, but then a lot of the f fights for the other people were like against a lesser enemy, like Natara, um, Rico, Reiko. Oh, I forget how it's pronounced. Like Cabal. I mean, maybe people like we that were in the games. I off the top, top of my head don't, yeah. didn't recognize them. So. And I'm not a diehard follower of the games. Yeah. I mean, and most I don't think a lot of people are. Most people play Mortal Kombat very casually. Yeah. Um, I'm sure there are those people that are like, I have owned and played every single one and yes. done everything in them. I, it's one that Yeah, I've I mean, I know the like... names Liu Kang, Kung Lao, Raiden, Sub-Zero, Scorpion, um, the, you know, the usuals. Yeah. Um, of course, you got Goro. With There's the always dibs on who gets to play as Scorpion and yeah. Sub-Zero. Get, get over here. Get over here. So, um, but they definitely cheesed it up for uh, Mortal Kombat. Just the right amount. They think, I mean, I think they said fatality at one point. Flawless victory. Flawless victory. Um, get over here. Get over here happened. Um, get over here. They were super aware and they went for it. And actually, I think it paid off. It worked really, really well. It was well. pretty fun. They all have, they all say their, as far as I remember, they all say their lines from the video game yeah. at one point. So it was it was definitely fun. Worth the watch for sure. I think mm -hmm. it's worth going to the theater right now and going to go support the movie. So yes. Yeah. Go support check it out. Theater. If it's open, I hope it is. Yes. Uh, we had a blast. It was the first time that we have actually seen a movie in the theater for over a year. Yeah. Um, mm, no. No, you did. You went to another one. I went for to, me. You went yes. to Raina. Um, I went to Raya and the Last Raya. Dragon. Um, and that was what March. Yeah. And I actually went month. to the Crudes too in November. Oh. Yeah. So couple. I've I've been to a couple theaters and before this that. This is my first time since onward. Yeah. Which was that March. was that was March of twenty. March of twenty twenty. Oh. Yeah, that was before it all went. <laughs> yep. Yeah, and Onward was only in theaters for like a week. And yeah, then and it closed Disney and went Plus. straight to Disney+. Plus. So, anyway, uh, we died. Yeah, anyway, that's, <laughs> that's a whole other thing. Go support the movie. It is definitely worth the watch. Yes, Maybe, it's a cheesy video I'm going to throw this out there. Maybe don't bring your wife or girlfriend. They might not like it. Ours weren't too impressed. They were not having a good time. They only went because they really liked us. They love us, so um, they supported well, us. Well, probably not anymore. But just kidding. No, but oh, then and do not bring kids to this movie. My goodness. Um, that last statement. There was probably like eight kids in our theater. It is not kid friendly. No, um, the no. F word is said probably three thousand times. Oh yeah. Um, there is a lot of blood. There's a lot of violence. It is not just like a little blood this from cuts and stuff yeah. here. I mean, it is. It is heads and arms. They and do limbs fatalities and, and stuff like that. So yeah. Is it quite as violent as the video game? Not quite. Yeah, but, but it's also like more Maybe real. as the early video games, it's yeah. about that violent. And I think they're just going to uh, ramp it up from here. Yeah. But, yeah, uh, we decided we are going to give it an 8 out of 10. Yeah, it was, it was Cause, good. Yeah, because we rated it on two aspects. One, we're looking at it as a video game movie. Yes. Which you have to rate a little bit differently. And then one as an actual just rating it as a movie standalone. We put those together because as a video game movie, it's it's like nine or ten out of yeah, ten. Yeah, right? most video game movies fantastic. Are bad. Um, as a whole movie, it was maybe maybe a seven. seven. So, but eight out of ten. Just how much fun we had watching this movie. Yeah, there was a lot of a lot. There's this was probably my emotions. Ha ha hoo he yeah. ha ye the whole time. So yeah, it was good. Great, a lot of fun. Um, please support that movie. So because I want to see at least four more of them. Yes. Yes, good video game movies are hard to come by, and this is one of them. So if you liked this review, give us a big thumbs up. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to check out our giveaway playlist. Yeah, get some free stuff. 
Um, and uh, hopefully we'll do some more uh, movie reviews yes, on upcoming we video to, game yeah. movies because we're getting more. If you don't know which ones are coming out, we yeah. have done a video on that before on upcoming video game movies. Check that out. This was one of them. And we hope to see you again on Super Platinum Achievement. See you guys. Fatality. Get over here.